Okay, it is Luxury Fred, and I have been spending some time with a truly incredible motorcycle. Look at this. Look at this. This, my friends, is the 2018 Ducati X Diavel S. And this is what they call their Techno Cruiser and uh, had the bike for about two weeks now, driven it about a thousand miles all over Southern California, and uh, I've got a lot to tell you about it. Again, this is uh, Ducati's Techno Cruiser. So Ducati wanted to get into the uh, cruiser market, and uh, they have created this bike, which gives you the forward controls the low seating position and the available torque at low RPMs. Yet, when you want it to be, it's still a Ducati Superbike. So they call this again their Techno Cruiser and the three key numbers with this bike are 5,000, 60, and 40. 5,000 is the RPM where the bike has the uh, maximum torque. Uh, it does have a 10,000 RPM red line, but it gives you that low-end torque that you need on a cruiser for just cruising around the streets and things like that. But then when you rev it up past 10,000 RPMs, it becomes a crazy Ducati Superbike. So 5,060 and 40, again, are the key numbers. 60 is the number of ergonomic configurations that you can have for the rider. What that means is there's four different footrest positions. The uh, footrests are adjustable. There are five different available seats. Uh, some seats are a little higher, some seats are a little lower, some seats are leather. Uh, the normal seat height of this is 29.3 inches. And uh, you also have three different handlebar options that you can put on the bike. And then the last is 40, again, 5,060 and 40. And 40 is a key number because that's the maximum lean angle. You can lean this cruiser 40 degrees, which is quite amazing. Uh, what else? So this is the first Ducati to use a belt drive transmission, which again gives you that smooth uh, power delivery. And the engine on this is truly incredible. It's what's called Ducati's, uh, do, 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 Ducati's 1292, I'm sorry, Ducati Testa Stretta DVT 1292. DVT stands for Desmodromic Variable Timing, and that means that both the uh, intake and the exhaust valves uh, operate independently based on your driving and how the engine's operating and things like that. So again, uh, Ducati Testa Stretta DVT 1262 and 1262cc's. Uh, 1262, uh, so you have full uh, LED uh, lighting up here. The S model has uh, very cool uh, daytime running lights. And uh, something very cool is this bike has what's called the Bosch Inertial Measurement Unit. That dynamically, which means as you're riding, measures pitch and roll angles plus the speed of relative variations in altitude thus raising performance and safety standards. And that works with traction control. The bike has traction control. Um, different mi riding modes, which I'll talk about in a second. Bosch cornering ABS, which is ABS that helps you prevent wheel spin on corners. And you also have the Ducati Power Launch, which is a launch control system. Very cool. Uh, what else do you have? So you have Brembo brakes up front. The S model has uh, slightly bigger brakes. And uh, again, this is the S model, so you get a different uh, paint job here with the gloss black. You also get the black engine and the uh, machined aluminum uh, parts here that are highlighted. Okay, so you see the bike stock here. You do have three packages that they sell. There's a sport pack with uh, more forward handlebars, handlebar caps, and some other uh, details on there. Then you have a touring pack, which has a uh, 
a rider comfort seat, a magnetic tank bag, and a windshield. And then you have an urban pack, which basically covers a lot of the fluid reservoirs and things like that that are exposed here. Okay, so in terms of ergonomics, uh, as I was saying, your basic controls are these forward controls here. If you do want to do more sport bike riding, you can get uh, kind of middle controls that mount there. Uh, something else interesting, this is a uh, ride-by-wire motorcycle. So your throttle isn't connected with a cable, your throttle is co connected electronically to the engine. Uh, as I was saying, you can also get different handlebars that are a little bit more forward or a little bit more backwards, uh, depending on what the riding position is that you want. So I talked about the, uh, the engine, very, very uh, smooth and powerful. Uh, you've got a dual spark system, which means you have two spark plugs for each cylinders. This is a, uh, it's not a V-twin, it's kind of an L-twin, which is Ducati's signature engine shape, so it's shaped like an L, but it is a two-cylinder, and you have four spark plugs. You have two spark plugs per cylinder. Um, you can see that the engine is actually a rigid structural part of the frame and the overall uh, design of the motorcycle. It's part of the structure. So you have a uh, very nice six-speed manual transmission. Also, you have long service intervals with this. Uh, 9,000 miles on your routine maintenance and uh, 18,000 miles on your valve adjustment interval. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about the electronics here. So you have a digital display up here. You have a lock mode that turns it on and off. And so you have a lot of control over what's displayed here. Uh, you have your side stand, you have your gas, your range. Uh, the headlights are automatic brights there. Then you have your warning lights up here. Uh, so this has three modes. This has a touring, a sport, and an urban mode. And you control those here. So if I push... Uh, menu so you can see touring, urban, and sport. So your sport mode gives you full horsepower, 156 horsepower. It also way turns down the traction control and the ABS. Again, this has traction control and ABS. And you can set the levels of how much those things um, are in play, uh, both the traction control and the ABS. And that's also set via your sport setting, via your uh, overall ride mode, sport, touring, or urban. Uh, the urban mode gives you incredible traction. Uh, it's good for wet weather and it also reduces the horsepower down to 100 from 156 so it makes it a little easier to ride again in urban city situations it's funny because the first day or two i had it in the urban mode and then i put it in the sport mode which gives you 56 more horsepower and it was incredibly powerful after i did that um, and then again as i was saying before the uh, sport, touring, and urban control different levels of the traction control and the ABS. You have traction control on this bike, um, and you can set, uh, separately from the riding modes, you can set the level of traction control, and you can also set the level of ABS interference. So it really allows you to customize the riding experience. Something else that you have is launch control, which is right here, uh, Ducati Power Launch it's called. So you push that button, you put it into first gear, you rev the engine, and then as you let out the clutch, it automatically engages at the fastest safe level. Uh, so again, you have launch control. Love how it has launch control and traction control. So let me uh, walk you through the controls here real quick. So on this side, uh, this is your menu and your 
controls for what shows on the screen. You can have all the info, you can have a very reduced look. Uh, there's different settings for what data is displayed. Uh, you have your turn signal here. They are not self-canceling, so you have to cancel them. Horn is down here. Uh, over here is your brights. Over here is your hazards. And then this is to flash uh, the front brights, the front lights, I mean. Uh, cruise control, which I use today, is very easy to use. Uh, this turns it on and off, and this sets it, and then you have an icon there that tells you it's on. And then what I did like is you can lower, uh, lower or raise the speed one mile an hour at a time, so you're in cruise control, you can slow down a little, you can speed up a little, and turn it on and off very easy. On this side, this is your lock button that engages a physical um, fork lock up there. Your run stop, your start button, and then again, uh, Ducati power launch, your launch control, and your standal standard throttle over there. As I mentioned, you have uh, Brembo brakes up front. You have a uh, keyless start. So you have this key and you just have to have that in your pocket, I think within six feet of the bike and the bike will start. The key does have a physical key, which uh, allows you to lift the seat up to adjust the uh, ride height, and it also allows you to open the fuel tank. So this bike is uh, truly incredible to ride. Look at that uh, big rear tire back there. Again, it gives you that cruiser feel with the forward controls and the, the wide handlebars and that low torque. It's wonderful but you've got a Ducati almost 1300cc engine there, so when you want to get crazy and you want to go fast, it's very easy to twist that th throttle and it really becomes a super bike. I've ridden it on the freeway, it's wonderfully stable even at near triple digit speeds. Um, very, very responsive um, and very smooth with that ride-by-wire system. Uh, the downsides, haven't really found any downsides to it. Um, I do notice that you do get a little bit of vibration in the rear view mirrors, so it can be a little hard to see clearly. It's something I haven't had with other bikes, but uh, on the freeway and things like that, there's a little bit of vibration that affects um, you know, how you're seeing things. And that's really the only uh, complaint these handlebars are a bit sportier than I would like. The riding position is a little more forward. Again, you do have multiple handlebar options. Uh, I would pick one that is even more cruiser-ish and uh, requires less lean than these do. So incredible, incredible experience. If you're considering a Harley, if you're considering an Indian or one of those other uh, cruiser bikes, uh, Triumph, I highly recommend that you check this bike out. Okay, and last part, the price of the 2018 Ducati X DFL S is $23,995, as you see it here.